anytime on Watch ABC and ABC On Demand. Only on four, a former police chief arrested, but tonight he's blaming this man. I'm disgusted that my name is put in here. Now tonight, the so-called scapegoat speaks out. Why he says the chief's story is a big lie. Plus, ready to hit the roads? Not so fast. Just how much you'll have to pay for that holiday vacation. We're crunching numbers and finding you the cheapest gas. And her home's getting flooded. So why will she have to wait eight days for a fix? It just keeps filling. Who's responsible and why the long wait? This is Pittsburgh's Action News 4. I don't know who gave him permission. If he says someone gave him permission, it was not myself. Only on four, furious and sounding off, a former council president taking aim at a one-time police chief accused of stealing thousands. The explosive allegations all exposed in a monster investigation. At Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Marcy Cipriani, the man you spoke to tonight is actually named in that paperwork. That's right, Andrew. He is named in the investigation. He tells me the FBI has been to his home, and he believes he's being used by the former police chief looking for a way out of these charges. This is former Mount Oliver Police Chief Frank Misesso, the man who police say took thousands of dollars from his police department's bank account and used it to pay his personal credit card. According to the criminal complaint, Misesso didn't deny that. Instead, detectives say he blamed this man. I'm disgusted that my name is put in here. This is Marty Palma, a member of Mount Oliver Council for 40 years, and the man who police say Misesso told them gave him permission to use the police department's bank account. I don't know who gave him permission. If he says someone gave him permission, it was not myself. Palma was president of council for many years, but tells me he was no longer even on council when police say Misesso began to steal. And Palma tells me he told the same thing to the FBI agent who came to his home to ask about the former chief. We went to Misesso's home to get his side of the story as well, but he refused to talk to us. Frank is, is the best guy ever in running in your life. But his neighbors, Anthony and Teresa Takis, were eager to defend him, saying Misesso would never steal from anyone, especially the police department he loved. If the God come down, he tell me, I don't believe it. Investigators say Misesso claims this is all a mix-up, that with permission he used his personal credit card to buy equipment for the department and only used the department's bank account to pay himself back. If somebody gave him permission to take the checkbook, the secretary should have came to me and said, Marty, the chief wants this checkbook. And I would have said, absolutely not. Marty Palma is not accused by police in this case at all, and he says the FBI told him he will likely be a witness in this case against the former police chief, Frank Massasso, who is now charged with theft and forgery. Live in Mar Oliver, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. You know, Mars, it seems we can't go a day anymore without reporting one. And now tonight, we have three more threats uncovered at three more local schools. Let's start at Trinity Area Middle School, where police actually were conducting walkthroughs into the night after a threat was found in a woman's restroom saying a bomb would go off on the last day of school. The school was searched. Nothing was found. It will continue to be searched as the school year nears an end. All right, now to Bell Vernon High School. Another threat in another bathroom. Lockers there searched. Students padded down today. At the end of the day, though, nothing found there. And finally, Wendy, Central Valley High School. Students here were actually placed on lockdown. This time after someone wrote, quote, I have a gun on a wall. Certainly what police want to know now is who caused the disruptions at all three schools. Sky 4's action cam now over just one devastating accident. And tonight, investigators confirm 19-year-old Whitney Chips from West Virginia died in this two-vehicle accident. It closed Silver Lane in both directions as police investigated from West Carson Drive all the way to Essex. We told you about it as breaking news last night. Now we know exactly what happened inside this house. Yeah, and it is a crime that has thrown an entire family into turmoil. A father dead, the mother shot, and the gunfire happening right in front of their four-year-old daughter. In fact, police say the little girl ran to help her mother after Grant Browers opened fire on his wife four times before he turned the gun on himself. She did not see anything. Um, she saw Joni bleeding and took her a napkin 
to help wipe up the blood, um, but she didn't see her dad. Now, the family tells us the married couple was separated, but Joni Bowers had to agree, had agreed to speak to Grant at her father's house along Morgantown Road. This is Spring Hill Township. At last word, Joni Bowers was in stable but critical condition at the hospital. The fire was so intense, a firefighter and a paramedic had to be taken to the hospital. Penn Hills tonight, where you can see a home was completely devastated. In fact, when crews arrived on Universal Road, they had immediate concerns. That's because just a few moments ago, this red truck hit the house. House. And there was concerns that damage to the foundation, plus the damage caused by the flames, would make that building collapse. We weren't going to send anybody in due to the uh, questionable, questionable structural stability of the house. Now, eventually, they allowed three firefighters in the opposite end of the home, but minutes later, evacuated them as a section of the ceiling gave way. You know, police call them traveling child predators. Have you heard of this? Two men riding to a specific location to meet whom they thought was a 14-year-old girl. You know what happens next. They didn't expect the police sting when they got there. Now, 62-year-old Jeffrey Marks and 37-year-old Brian Zimmer are criminal suspects. We stopped by Marks' home where one of his neighbors tells us he wasn't surprised at all to hear of Mark's arrest. Well, you know why we're showing you his picture? Why? He's been arrested for, um, as a child predator. Oh, I believe that. Trying to pick up teenage girls. I believe that. Really? Yep. And both Marks and Zimmer have a preliminary hearing set for June 2nd. All in the family, a mother and her three teenage children all charged after police served an arrest warrant in West Pittsburgh's neighborhood of Sheridan. Here's a look at the suspects tonight. Investigators say they also found drugs and guns inside the home along Sutherland Street. Add that to the heroin, cocaine, marijuana. This house has been a thorn in our side um, for, for many years. Yeah, once again, here's a look at the suspects. 50-year-old Shirlene Mock and her daughter's 19-year-old Sierra and 18-year-old Charday. They were arrested during the raid. A 17-year-old male was also in the house at the time, his name not being released just yet. Well, Wendy, it's been legal for two days, but it seems it has not been all smooth sailing for same-sex couples who are now legally married here in Pennsylvania. In fact, one man just ran into a snag in the system. And it came when he tried to change the name on his driver's license. In fact, Justin Wire tells us when he walked into the DMV on Wednesday, things did not go quite as planned. The manager looked across the desk at him and just shook his head, no. And I said, what do you mean no? And he said, well, we can't do that. And it was like my worst nightmare coming true. Justin and his husband, Alan, share a six-month-old daughter, and the couple was married in Maryland this December, but their marriage wasn't recognized in Pennsylvania until this week. Well, it turns out his request was the first of its kind. A PennDOT spokesperson blames a lapse of communication in the new procedure for why Justin was turned down, but affected immediately all couples, couples with proper documentation are welcome to apply for a name change. All right, all new at 11 o'clock now. Some of you are already packing up tonight, ready to hit the road tomorrow for the holiday weekend ahead. But the real question, are you ready for how much you're going to have to pay? Don't worry. Tonight, we're doing the math for you and revealing where you can get the cheapest gas right now. Want to get away? Ah, you know you do. You just don't want to pay through the... Yeah, know what I mean? Okay, so here's the deal. With a gallon of regular unleaded going for as much as $3.89, even $3.91 a gallon we found. And uh, here's hoping you don't drive diesel. Ouch. Here's what you'll pay to take a weekend trip to the following destinations. The 196-mile round trip to Deep Creek Lake will run you about 22 bucks in gas. Not bad. $40 will buy you enough to get to Cedar Point and back. Headed down to Virginia Beach for a wrestling tournament. Okay, you could do that. Or instead, drive the 430 miles round trip to Hershey Park. That'll cost about $47. If you keep on going to the Jersey Shore, you can make that 744-mile round trip for $71 in the tank. Want to hit the lake? Erie's calling your name. That 255 mile adventure will run you less than 30 bucks. And if you're feeling patriotic this Memorial Day, D.C. is certainly an easy trip. You can get there and back for just $53. Now, if finding the best prices is giving you a bit of a headache. It's too depressing. It just keeps going up and up and up. We found gas going for as low as $3.83 a gallon here at this get-go on the south side, right near the Hot Metal Bridge and at this Oakmont Circle 
service plaza. I got an app on my phone. It shows me the guest, best gas prices, and that's usually where I try to go. Ah, smart man. That app will also point you to the Sitco in Greenfield, where we found the cheapest price, $3.79 a gallon. Nice. No, I didn't do any golf adventures, Andrew. Sorry. Next time. <laughs> Those round trip prices, of course, do not include all the turnpike tolls and all the other fees, which sadly we found no way to get around. You know, gas isn't your only concern. Traffic could also be a problem. So we're giving you real time updates on WTAE.com. Just hit the news tab and go to traffic. And a serious reminder tonight for anyone grilling out this weekend, 1.8 million pounds of ground beef has been recalled nationwide including here in Pennsylvania. The problem, E. coli, and 11 people have been sickened in four states. So here's what to look for tonight. Wolverine Packing Company products with the establishment number 2574B and packing numbers between March 31st, 2014 to April 18th. Can you imagine this? Look at that, water flooding your home for days, all because of a water main break that nobody will fix. The landlord brought over a, a pump for us. I pumped out the basement for a little over an hour. Yeah, well, look at what's going on right now. Tonight, only on four, a local woman wants answers. Why is it taking so long to clean up this mess? Plus, it's the cheap, easy way to, to take a road trip. But tonight, why Megabus may not be so convenient anymore. And you think you're covered by the roof, right? Mm, not so much. This video you're going to have to see. The madness at a Pennsylvania mall. We're going to show you what fell in as customers watch. And while they're having tough weather out in eastern Pennsylvania, we had a nice afternoon with temperatures into the 70s. We're going to drop those temperatures down tomorrow, but then we're in for a pretty nice weekend. We're going to tell you all about it coming up next. Tonight, Kimmel takes on the Scrabble Champs. What are you guys talking about over there? He's talking about Justin Bieber. And he's got a secret game changer. Well, the other thing I should have mentioned, we're playing in Spanish. Plus, unnecessary censorship. New Jimmy Kimmel Live tonight on ABC. Chrysler Town & Country isn't your average minivan. Why? Well, because it holds itself to not just a higher standard, but to a long list of them. No wonder Chrysler Town & Country is the most awarded minivan ever. This Memorial Day, get zero do-it signing and $319 a month with a low-mileage lease on Town & Country Touring for well-qualified current lessees of competitive vehicles. Memorial Day weekend is one of the biggest furniture and mattress shopping weekends of the year. Shop Levin's now and save 50% off all furniture, 50% off all mattresses, and 50% off all leather. Plus, pay no interest for 60 months. And as a special bonus, Levin's pays your sales tax. That's half off furniture and mattresses, no interest for 60 months. Plus, we pay your sales tax. The memorial sale starts Friday at Levin Furniture. Don't miss it. Hey, what you doing today? I'm riding down the highway. The great thing about a Subaru is you don't have to put up with that new car smell for long. I saw you. The versatile 2015 Subaru Forester. What you doing today? Love. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Two is always better than one. And with two day Subaru locations and twice the selection, we really do make car buying quick, easy, and fun. Right now, a day West Liberty Subaru. Lease a new 2014 Subaru Impreza 2.0i, 197 a month. Or a 2014 Subaru Legacy 2.5i, 109 a month. Offer ends Saturday. We'll not only make your day, we'll make your deal. Day Subaru, West Liberty Avenue. Day Automotive, gonna make your day. Start your day the Pittsburgh way. Weekday mornings on Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Start your day the Pittsburgh way with Kelly, Michelle, Steve, Janelle, and Ryan. It's everything you need to know while getting ready to go. Weekday mornings on Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Underwater for days, all because of a water main break. She says Almost. nobody will fix. And now one local woman wants to know why she's being forced to sit and wait for the problem to dry out. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Kelly Brennan with the frustration you will only see right here on 4. 
It doesn't look like much. It's a slow drip coming down these rocks, but it's been running consistently since Monday night. And at its highest point, it was as high as two feet, ruining belongings, equipment, even the hot water tanks and furnace. For three days, the water has leaked, they have pumped, and then they repeat. It just keeps filling. Andrew Leah and Jessica Keeler have had enough. The basement of their Southside apartment building on Sarah Street has been filling with water. The landlord brought over a, a pump for us. I pumped out the basement for a little over an hour. And when he got home from work, he pumped it out again. Boxes of clothes have been soaked, holiday decorations ruined. They've been calling the Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority, but haven't had any luck. We reached out, and the company told us a plumber was on site yesterday and again today. The company said, quote, there is not much water surfacing. This is a service line leak. A call has been placed to PA1, and we hope to get to it Tuesday morning. No one is out of water. But the high water shut off the pilot light, which means they don't have hot water. Yeah, I have a two-year-old daughter. We don't have hot water, so I had to boil water and to throw it in the tub the other day to give her a bath. By the time the leak is fixed on Tuesday, this water will have been running for eight days. And Andrew and Jessica will be pumping out all weekend. And then, of course, you hear all the horror stories with black mold. It, it can be bad. Reporting in the South Side, I'm Kelly Brennan, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Just horrible. I can't even imagine that. And it, somebody's not on it ASAP to get it taken care of? Meantime, Jessica's neighbors on both sides are also having flooding in their basements. Yeah, we'll keep you posted on that. On to this now tonight, it is the cheap, easy way to take a road trip, even offering you the chance at a $1 fare. But tonight, Megabus just got a little less convenient. It's cutting service to Pittsburgh to four more destinations, Ann Arbor, Cleveland, Detroit, and Toledo gone. This is in addition to the other routes recently eliminated, Cincinnati, Columbus, Buffalo, and Toronto. This is certainly news that makes many passengers cringe. Listen. I think that's really unfortunate because people have to rely on like Greyhound and the air, like airplanes and stuff is really expensive. So the Megabus had always advertised to be able to go to those places and now they're taking it away. I don't think that's really fair. Now the company says it's cutting the routes that just aren't profitable, adding there's always the possibility of resuming service to those destinations if demand changes. All right, Wendy, talking about catching a ride, tonight there is a new twist in an ongoing battle we keep telling you about. Ever since ride-sharing services like Lyft and Uber moved to Pittsburgh, Yellow Cab has had new competition. But tonight, Pittsburgh's original taxi service has a new dog in the fight. In fact, it's unveiling a smartphone app similar to the ones used by Lyft and Uber. In fact, it should help level the playing field. The so-called Yellow X app will allow passengers to request rides through their phones instead of forcing them to call for a pickup. A fleet of around 150 drivers will then answer the requests. No word on when Yellow X will launch. All right, Pittsburgh's action weather now. Unbelievable video tonight. Got to watch as hail the size of golf balls slams through a Pennsylvania mall, and you see all that stuff falling? That's part of the skylights broken by the impact. This is at the Berkshire Mall right outside Reading, Pennsylvania. That very same hailstorm also laid waste to these cars in the same parts of town. Gee whiz. Check out the dents there. Can you even imagine having to pay for the damage? Some drivers had their windows broken out. Look at that. And just walked out in a state of shock. That's when you're like, thank goodness I'm driving my clunker. Right? <laughs> that is not fun. And we, yeah. We've been lucking out. Today, nice day. Beautiful, beautiful evening. I think, and the important point, if you weren't driving your clunker when you drove there, it is it is you are when you drive home, I'll tell you that. Yeah, today we had a very nice afternoon. Temperatures into the 70s, with the exception of Morgantown at 80 degrees, Deep Creek, Maryland, 68. But everybody else, a nice, comfortable afternoon with some high clouds out there. So had some uh, sun that was filtering in. And right now, we are seeing temperatures that are in the uh, 50s. Right now in Pittsburgh, 58 degrees. Cranberry, 56. Butler, 52. Franklin, down to 48 degrees. We'll see these temperatures drop down about another 8 degrees as we head into tomorrow morning. This is what we're looking at. There is a PNC Park 
We had a nice game earlier today, 58 degrees, that current temperature. Winds out of the west northwest at five miles per hour, so they did die down. Our dew points have come down also since the cold front went through, so that's made things a little bit more comfortable with a little drier air. And then as we take a look at the high temperature today, there's your 78, six above the average of 72, 93, the record set back in 1911. Let's take a look at the temperatures as we head into tomorrow. We are going to have some cooler air, which is going to be moving in from the northwest. That's going to keep our temperatures down tomorrow. Highs tomorrow will be in the 60s, probably mid to upper 60s for most locations, but shouldn't be too bad of a day. You can see right now, partly cloudy skies as we head into tomorrow in the afternoon. We'll have a chance, maybe a scattered light shower, but that's pretty much it for tomorrow. And certainly tonight, we are in great shape. Now, here's the low pressure and the cold front moving out to the east. This morning, we had some very strong to severe storms that moved through the areas north of Pittsburgh. We had trees down in places like Catanning up towards uh, Grove City. Armstrong, Butler, Indiana counties got hit hard this morning, but that has all moved off towards the uh, east. That was the same system that went through the eastern parts of Pennsylvania where you saw the uh, hail that was damaging that mall. Again, that's all moving off to the east. We have high pressure, which is beginning to build in. Now, as we get into tomorrow, we still have an upper level low, which is just to the northeast of us. That's going to try to bring around a couple of showers as we get into Friday afternoon. High pressure is going to try to block it out, so that should limit the showers we see. And then as we go into the week and that high pressure is going to get closer, should slow move those showers off to the east so we should be in great shape for the Memorial Day holiday weekend. So tomorrow morning we're looking at partly cloudy skies as we get into the afternoon. I think we'll see a few additional clouds later on in the day and again it's just scattered light rain showers that'll be moving through. Here's your Saturday. We start partly cloudy on Saturday as we get into the afternoon. I think most of the showers will stay to the east of Pittsburgh. You might have a pop-up shower uh, places like uh, Fayette County, uh, Westmoreland County, but again I think most of that is going to stay out to the east and that high pressure is going to go right over western Pennsylvania and that means 8 o'clock on Sunday all the way through until 6 o'clock on Sunday and really into Monday on Memorial Day as well. We are going to be seeing great conditions, mostly clear skies. So 50 degrees tomorrow morning for your low temperature. 67 will be your high temperature for tomorrow. So we are going to be seeing a cool day as we head into tomorrow with the potential of those scattered showers in the morning. Temperatures will be in the 60s across the board. Greensburg a high of 67. Clarion 66 with Beaver at 67, 67 for Wheeling, Waynesburg 69, and we're at 68 South Hills, Penn Hills at 67. The Memorial Day weekend looks great, partly cloudy and 73 on Saturday. Sunday, nearly 80 degrees, gorgeous day, mostly sunny skies. Memorial Day, we're up to 80 degrees, maybe some clouds moving in late in the day, but other than that, things look great. Mike, thanks so much. We want to talk about a big honor for Pittsburgh's Action News 4 at 11 o'clock. Tonight, we were awarded Best Newscast at the 2014 Golden Quill Awards. Congratulations to our colleagues as well, who also won four other categories, including News and Feature Videography, Overall Videography, and Public Affairs Community Service. All right, congrats to the entire Pittsburgh's Action News 4 team. Meantime, some inspiring efforts on the high school diamond tonight. We're covering the Whippeo playoffs. And you've got to catch this. Josh Harrison, what a grab. And it wasn't even the biggest grab of the game. Wait till you see the play that got top honors. Today's sports report is sponsored by Mazda. Get to Nissan for the ride of your life. I would have never imagined a four-door car could do any of that. Get up to 1,000 bonus cash on select Nissans. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Here we go. Top critics are cheering for the one movie. It's called Million Dollar Arm. That has something for everyone. Wow. It's the feel-good crowd pleaser of the summer. That's what I'm talking about. Disney's Million Dollar Arm. Rated PG. See it now. The countdown to savings is on now at Hyundai's Memorial Day sales event. Beat the clock for the best deals of the year, like an Elantra with a $149 a month lease or up to 2,000 total savings. You'll find great savings all over the lot, but you have to come in now. Drive off with a Sonata today and get up to $5,000 total savings. Hurry to the Memorial Day sales event at your Hyundai dealer. Act fast. With deals this good, the clock is sure to... Hurry into your local Hyundai dealer. Event ends June 2nd. 
Two is always better than one. And with two Day Subaru locations and twice the selection, we really do make car buying quick, easy, and fun. At Day Apollo Subaru, it's lease month. Lease a new 2014 Subaru Outback 2.5i, just $289 a month with no money down and free scheduled maintenance for three years. Offer ends Saturday. We'll not only make your day, we'll make your deal. Day Apollo Subaru, University Boulevard, Boone Township. Day Automotive, gonna make your day. Everyone loves surprises, and we love to make our customers pleasantly surprised. At Petite Kitchen and Bath, your dream kitchen can become reality. We guide you every step of the way, from custom creation through expert installation. At Petite, we create a kitchen that matches your taste, your lifestyle, and your pocketbook. For over 50 years, we've been making our customers' dreams come true for a price that's pleasantly surprising. Call Petite Kitchen and Bath Design Center today. Haven't you waited long enough? WTAE Channel 4, home of the Pennsylvania Lottery. Watch the drawings live following ABC World News. Only on Channel 4, your official lottery station. Sundays are kids' days at PNC Park. Family-friendly excitement before and after the game. Presented by the Pittsburgh Pirates and Pittsburgh's Action News 4. To Nissan for the ride of your life. I would have never imagined a four-door car could do any of that. Get up to 1,000 bonus cash on select Nissans. Shop ChooseNissan.com. He may be the most dominating baseball player in Western Pennsylvania. Blackhawks' Brenda McKay. He's expected to go high in this year's baseball draft, and he mowed down West Mifflin in today's Whippeal semifinal game at North Allegheny. McKay pitched a no-hitter, ran his scoreless inning streak to 69, the third longest in high school baseball history. He also homered, sending Blackhawk into the AAA title game. And you know, the Pirates wish they could have Brandon McKay right now, especially after what they saw from Wandy Rodriguez last night. He didn't make it out of the second inning, and tonight he is no longer in Pittsburgh. The Pirates waving goodbye to winless Wandy. And they said hello tonight to Edson Volquez, who made one mistake against the Nationals. And there it goes. A solo shot by Ian Desmond would tie the game. But in the fifth inning, Andrew McCutcheon, who had already been hit by a pitch with the bases loaded to drive home one run, singles home Josh Harrison here, the Pirates with a 2-1 lead. A lead they were protect with some great defense. Up 3-1, watch this. Josh Harrison on the liner. Great grab to prevent extra bases. Harrison also had two hits on the night. But in the ninth inning, Mark Melanson put the tying run on base. The drive to center field. Andrew McCutcheon. Does Harrison one better? The sliding grab, and that is your ball game. Edison wins. The Buckos take the game with some great defense, winning 3-1. 22. Now with 22 out there, he's going to make a play if he thinks he can make a play. We encourage these guys to play the game to win. Play the game to win. Go do things. He almost came up with one earlier in the game towards a notch. You look at the play Harrison made. Play the game to win. You make plays and you just keep moving on. St. Vincent College is a distant sight in the rearview mirror. The preseason is as well. It's time now to get serious about this great game of football. And that is how it begins. Test of metal. The Steelers 2013 highlight film from NFL Films, produced by Bethel Park native John Weiss, made its debut at Heinz Field today. Now, some will say what highlights, a non-playoff season, but the team's president says there were moments to remember and moments to build upon. You know, when you don't make the playoffs, you kind of put the season out of your mind and move on. But, uh, you know, the, it really was uh, a lot of excitement in the end of that season that uh, almost forgot about. So it's, it's fun to see the film and, and how they represent it. And finally, let's go back to the Whippeo playoffs. The Elizabeth Ford softball team lost today, just a game short of the championship. But third baseman Lexi Rabarczak is a champion no matter the outcome. Lexi suffers from a rare condition, one that affects one in 600,000 people, one that led to surgeries on both her legs, including severing her femur and realigning her kneecaps. Somehow she played through the pain. I just want to be able to inspire people that you can get through anything if you just put your mind to it. I knew that she would overcome this. But I guess in the back of your mind, you always think, what if she can't play again? And I know that's crazy because someone said to me, softball isn't everything. It really, it isn't. But to her, she's, that's all she loves to do.
Oh. Yeah, she just missed out on the championship game, but tomorrow at PNC Park, she will be honored as the fan of the game and help Clint Hurdle bring out the lineup card before the contest. And such a beautiful young lady, so talented. She's gonna so go, courageous. She's going to go far, I'll tell you that much. All right, so let's yes. talk about tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, we're going to be in pretty good shape. Okay. Today, we had a high temperature of 78 degrees. It'll be a little cooler tomorrow, but uh, not much in the way of showers. And then we're going to talk about that Memorial Day forecast. That is shaping up nicely. That's coming up in just a minute. We are redefining possible, pioneering medical breakthroughs in heart surgery, women's care, cancer care, and more. All to improve your prospects of a longer, healthier life. This is Allegheny Health Network. If you're looking for a new truck, you have choices. Unless, of course, you're looking for the truck with the absolute best highway fuel economy of any pickup on the road, 28 miles per gallon, and first ever back-to-back -back Motor Trend Truck of the Year. Then, you really only have one choice, Ram 1500. Guts. Glory. Ram. This Memorial Day, well-qualified current lessees of competitive trucks get a low-mileage lease on Ram 1500 Express Crew Cab for $189 a month. It's not a complicated recipe. It's a homemade one. So it calls for just a handful of natural ingredients, like real sugar and extra cream. Because at Turkey Hill, we found that the simple way is the most delicious way. All natural ice cream from Turkey Hill. Extra simple, extra good. Ross Toyota. Trade in a 2007 or newer vehicle and we'll get you a lower monthly payment on a brand new one. Like a new 2014 Tacoma. Lease for just $179 per month. Cars go fast at Ross. Remaining four days only. It's the Memorial Day double discount sale at Pool City. Our manufacturers have authorized factory double discounts on hundreds of brand name hot tubs, like the Echo L460, factory discounted to $69.84, now double discounted to $5,600. Don't miss our Jacuzzi and Sundance special, a free Bluetooth stereo on select models, valued at $1,000, plus 0% financing up to 48 months, only at Pool City. How do you know you're in the best of hands? When your caregivers have been nationally recognized for superior results in heart care, transplants, cancer care, and more. This is Allegheny Health Network. And as we take a look at the weekend, most of it is going to be pretty good. Take a look at this. Tomorrow we're a little bit cool, 67 degrees, a few scattered showers around. But look at Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Saturday, only the slightest chance of a shower. Most of that will be east of Pittsburgh. Sunday, completely sunny. We're pushing 80 degrees. We will make 80 degrees on Memorial Day with only a few extra clouds moving in. It's, How about that, Wendy? It's always nice on the Memorial Day. <laughs> and we have the facts to prove it now. <laughs> yes, yeah. we do. And that is Pittsburgh's Action News 4 at 11. Thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in tomorrow morning. See you back here at 4.30. This has been a presentation of Pittsburgh's Action News 4. It's a good time for a great deal during the Toyota Time Sales event. Hurry in and save on an amazing selection of your favorite Toyotas. Now get an extra.